Sometimes when I'm out and about and I'm adventuring to see something beautiful in nature, it's hard for me to resist not sharing it in such a right now kind of way, you know? So here's what we're doing because this is why I went live. So that is Philadelphia. Let's see if I can zoom in. awesome right <sighs> so beautiful I'm so glad I I'm so tired and I was like oh the sun's about to set and you just got off work and <sighs> what are you gonna do care you gonna play it safe and say oh I'm tired or are you gonna <sighs> go for it always go for it you guys always go for it so what can we talk about let's talk about consciousness rising up your consciousness how do you do it anybody know well tapping into nature is one way so, tapping into just being able to close your eyes and listen to the sounds and to calm your mind and your body. Be one with the sunset. <laughs> we are one with the sunset right now, you guys. It's so cool. How else can we lift up our consciousness? I love talking about how humans can like evolve and you know have see their evolution as a person I love seeing you know where I was when I was in active addiction I love seeing where I was there's such a pretty cloud over there um, let me see if I can show it to you guys hold on you know when I was pregnant I love seeing yeah right there isn't that cool okay how else can we lift up our vibration and our consciousness really becoming aware of your actions and catching yourself um, with patterns and things that don't serve you or even like people that don't serve you and their actions because then you have an opportunity to change things to create healthy boundaries and once you level up you can choose whether or not you're willing to accept certain things and create that boundary. And then they also get to choose. Ooh, something jumped. Something jumped. They get to choose, you know, if they're okay with your boundaries. And a lot of times they're not if they're used to, you know, being able to just get away with things. And then all of a sudden you start to become aware and your consciousness lifts up and then you set these healthy boundaries they might not be able to handle it so then there's the decision to make you know can you guys still be have that relationship or will it end can it change I love kind of talking about that um, it is so peaceful here so meditating is another way so really meditating is such a powerful practice I recommend all of my clients meditate I don't care how long it is but every single morning before they go out of the house because you're setting you're you're setting the tone and connecting with source before you go out in the world and have to deal with you know other everybody's energy <laughs> it's like it's a lot you know so once you ground yourself solidly connect with source through your meditation and then you go out into the world it's like you can just let things go a lot easier and be in your vibe and you know protect your energy I love talking about like protecting your energy it's so important it really is it's so important 
Um, most like people that come to me are, you know, in a state of depression or, you know, they're, they're overwhelmed because of relationships that are not healthy. And so, uh, I help people change and change and, and take their power back. Yes. Believe in humans, you know, like we all have the potential and the power to change our lives. And that's the beauty of free will. We get to choose. I will choose free will. That cloud over there is such a sweet, like riding on the pink cloud at like an early sobriety. You're, you're on the pink cloud. Um, but, I mean, I used to say I, I put myself in a bubble when I got sober to really protect my sobriety. So I was very protective of my sobriety. Um, so maybe I was in a pink bubble, <laughs> not on a pink cloud. Because really, re it was reality. It's hard. You learn, have to learn how to deal with so much, you know, without a drink. And that's not easy. It's not easy. So, um, everyone's probably out and about doing their Saturday night thing, but I just wanted to jump on and give you a glimpse of some beauty. <laughs> um, yoga is another way to, you can lift your consciousness because that's a practice of connecting your body, mind, and soul. Um, chanting. There's a lot of powerful, powerful, um, kirtan powerful ways that you can start to change your consciousness and become aware and um and shift like the shift i love seeing people shift and transform their life yes all right i'm gonna go make sure to to uh subscribe to the tribe and believe in humans.com and there's a new group that i created believe in humans wellness warriors because we are gonna plug in and lift up our vibration on all aspects, body, mind, soul. Peace out. Bye. <laughs>